Oh, hey, mate. My name's Coral, and this is Bilardi. Would you like a tour of Rain? Let's take them up to the rooms right now. Let's go. Hey, James. So we'll start with the rooms upstairs. We'll have a look at a normal rain room um, and we'll go from there. Yeah, should be good. Get keen. We'll start with fifth floor. It's neutral ground. So we have uh, five residential floors, seven floors in total. Uh, third floor to seventh floor is residential floors and that's why Bloody says fifth floor is neutral ground because it's right in the middle of all the residential floors. That's right. And there's always a big uh, sort of competition and team spirit surrounding floors. Um, and so we go there because neither of us are from fifth floor. <laughs> Otherwise, you would called... get a very biased tour. <laughs> we have a thing called the Cultural Cup, which is a, uh, a competition that runs all year long between the different floors at college. Um, and uh, there's lots of sorts of sports, games, internal, external activities um, where the floors verse each other and uh, accumulate points over the year and the uh, cultural cup will be awarded to the team with the most points at the end of the year. So there's a lot of healthy rivalry within college. And who won that this year? Um, I can't really remember. I don't know who it was. It was oh yeah, something like that. <laughs> anyway, so this is a tutor room if you want to have a look. Um, this is the room of a, uh, a resident who would be somewhat like a mentor to most students on the floor. Um, there's two residential tutors uh, per floor, uh, and each floor has about 20, to 20 or so guys. So you get quite a uh, quite a um, a team led by uh, two two pretty uh, outstanding individuals. Um, but obviously there are exceptions like Coral, who's a ah. tutor. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so this room would be a bit bigger than your normal residential room, but it's with good merit because there's a lot of uh, effort that goes into the role, sort of like a big brother role. Um, but if you have a look at this room. Uh, it's a bit, it's a bit more cosy, but uh, does not detract from the personality of the room. Uh, you've got more than enough space to store all your belongings, with plenty of cupboard space and um, a desk of your own. Uh, yeah, exactly. Internet connection under the desk and everything. And there's a big cupboard, lots of storage. Um, you also get your own locker on um, in the locker room on the floor. So yeah, the, the rooms are pretty cozy, but pretty good. Um, get a good view of Sydney on this side, great view of campus on the other side of the building. Yeah. There's some like air, air filtration and heaters. Um, yeah, rooms get cleaned three times a week um, by staff. So. Yeah, so cleaning is um, yeah three times a week in the mornings and uh, you get a new towel once a week. Um, you get uh, new, new bed once sheets week. once a week. So yeah, yeah it's pretty good. Awesome. We'll head down to um, the first floor. Actually, should we show them the common room first? Oh, yeah, good idea. There's a nice picture of a floor dinner. So um, just a bit of a snapshot of floor culture, I guess. Every floor would have a floor dinner every, um, every term to sort of, um, I don't know, solidify friendships and have a bit of camaraderie. So this is an average floor's um, common room. Um, you, you sort of meet here um, irregularly whenever you want um, to do lots of different things. Board games are really popular. Guys play video games, all sorts of things. And every night, um, Monday to Thursday, there's a thing called Coffee Club where guys from every floor um, will just come together, take a break from study or whatever, and um, yeah, participate in some sort of activity that the, res that the residential tutor has uh, thrown together. So it could go from anything like card games to board games to um, you know going out for something, grabbing ice cream, yeah. whatever it might be. And on your birthday, every resident gets their own birthday cake and yeah. you celebrate birthday coffee clubs in the, in the common room. Um, yeah. And that was probably the biggest surprise I got when I came to Rain is uh, realizing that you know you get an entire birthday cake on your birthday, which is pretty pretty special. Yeah, it is. Definitely makes special. you feel pretty special. All right. All right. Um, now we can head down to first floor. Yeah. Um, have a look at uh, music room, TV room, that sort of stuff. <clears throat> Getting the same lift again. Are we? I think so. Right. Every floor also has. Um, their own theme. So fifth floor is Picasso themed art. Seventh floor is Olympic posters. That's right. Actually, no. Sixth floor is Olympic oh, posters. Right, Seventh yeah. floor is war posters. Yeah, that's right. War war posters. Yeah, that's right. Actually, um, I don't know what third floor is. Interesting. Third floor, isn't it that um, artist? No idea. That's <laughs> okay. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> 
Is that how you do it? <laughs> you can edit this out, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so if you're athletic, then... Um, Sorry, if you're into sports, we've got um, in our TV room all sorts of different um, sports channels, ESPN, Fox, everything. Um, and um, lots of guys often watch the NRL on the weekends or um, the Union, that kind of stuff in our TV room. So it's a TV room projector. It's got all the Foxtel channels, so you can even watch movies and stuff up here. Um, and yeah, the room gets pretty um, well used, as you can see. There's loads of seats in here. Um, make yourself comfortable, sit down, watch the footy. People bring snacks and things into here too. Um, and just the next room, which can be a bit competitive at times, um, is the uh, music room. Um, it's often quite messy, but that's how musicians are, so we forgive them. Um, but yeah, it's we've got obviously, as you can see, the drum kits, electric, a normal one, um, lots yeah, of pianos, keyboards. there's guitars, um, there's trumpets, there's a guy, there's, um, you know, all sorts of little bits, of, bits and pieces, and uh, there's a clarinet up there. Yeah. Um, yeah, so people come and play music in here. Um, it's pretty well um, sort of, Silence, I don't know what the word is. Um, and right. uh, Pretty well silenced. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I think a lot of people actually learn how to play an instrument at college too. Yeah, I know me, right. for example, I have picked up a couple of things just from residents that, right? that are very artistic and, and happy, to, happy to help you out. Yeah. I've right? learned the piano, I've learned have the you? ukulele. I thought the tambourine was the extent of your um, <laughs> musical abilities. Mate, you'd be surprised. I would be. We'll have a look at the chapel. Yep. Well, we're on the way. This is a great sort of snapshot of the, of the courtyard, which we'll get to a bit later, I think. Yeah, so the courtyard is a great place to come and hang out. I spent a lot of time down there uh, chilling and getting some fresh air, you know. Um, having a coffee. Having a coffee. Um, anyway, yeah, so we'll have a look at the chapel. So Rain is a um, Catholic college, uh, so we do have... Um, sort of Catholic facilities, including um, chaplains, a chapel, um, and this is just a great place to come in and uh, you know spend some quiet time. Um, you can contemplate, be in prayer, that sort of thing. Um, welcome, everyone's welcome to come into here. And uh, yeah, so this is the upstairs um, sort of choir loft of the uh, chapel. Um, and as you can see, there's a, there's a lot of room in here, so. All right, pretty spacious. Where should we go next? Um, we can have a look at the first floor study rooms. Yeah, uh, good idea. So we have very many study facilities at Warren College. Um, and that is also why all of our students, or most of our students at least, um, are very switched on academically. Um, also much due to the fact that we have an excellent sort of academic mentoring program with um, academic tutors that help students in wh whichever subject, especially in first year where there's a lot of people taking common subjects. Um, there's always a resident that's already done the subject that's more than happy to run tutorials and um, help them out in challenging topics for whichever subject they might have. Yeah, we're pretty lucky that older residents are willing to, um, you know, tutor and support younger guys and get them over the line when it comes to a lot of their subjects and academic work. Um, what you're looking at here is the main common room, which is something we'll come back to later. Um, and it's a, uh, it's a um, sort of general space for everyone to use. Um, and it's, yeah, I mean, it's Christmas, Christmas at the moment, so there's a big Christmas tree here and a little nativity scene down there. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a really well used space, sort of at the heart of college. Uh, and uh, it's a great um, sort of room for everyone to just chill in, hang out in. Um, similar to the floor common room that we saw earlier, but bigger and um, okay. useful. College that's common room. That's right, it's a college common room. One might say a main common room. That's right. And we'll come back to that later. Um, here you have sort of just generally a few study rooms. Um, there are people using them at the moment, um, studying and doing all sorts of courses. Um, but there's essentially four up here in this wing of the college. Uh, and you can use them for collaborative work or individual study, whatever you're sort of um, keen on doing. Uh, and yeah, they get used um, daily. Um, there's always people up here doing all sorts of uh, all sorts of work. Air conditioning. There's some PCs in this room too for those that 
might need them, a bunch of books lying around. We've recently had a huge donation of books to the college. That's right, um, printer as well. Yeah, good printer. We'll, we'll head down now. Head to the library? Uh, yeah, we'll have a look at the library and the snack bar. Just come on through. So this is sort of known as, I guess, the snack bar area or like a bit of a foyer to the library. Um, there's a little kitchenette here with coffee, tea, all sorts of stuff. A more open study area that looks out into the courtyard. Um, so people sometimes come here for the, I guess, the view, um, particularly when I'm in the courtyard. Um, this is very much the exam hub. When exam period, you would see people in and out of the library taking breaks, coming to grab a cup of coffee or tea. Um, or even gathering in the courtyard for morning tea at 11 o'clock. That's right, we've got a vending machine here which sells soft drinks all year round. One dollar soft drinks. One dollar soft drinks, yeah. There's, this is the ground floor study room, so it's another one like we saw upstairs, but um, probably gets used a bit more because it's just outside the library and people can just pop into here to talk about different things. And, also air conditioned. Yeah, air conditioned as well. And then the library, which is a, a place where some residents spend an inordinate amount of time um, which is a good thing. People such as myself. <laughs> of course. After you. Um, yeah, so this is the library. It gets used by a lot of people. Um, as you can see, it's mostly just study spaces and, and desks for people to utilize. Um, and of course, there's a grand collection of books um, that uh, have been sort of accumulated over the years. There's stuff in the, they're dating back to you know, university articles, journals and things um, from as early as the, the start of um, this university and others, so. Even though it is a library, I don't think I've ever seen anyone use any of these books. <laughs> That's right, <laughs> and if they are, they're never reading books, it's always academic <laughs> yeah, stuff, true. so. Yeah. So we tend to keep this quite um, tidy. You can see here, someone's been a bit naughty and left all this stuff on the desk, but usually we. It's probably Jeremy to... Blades, <laughs> yeah. All right, now we'll. Um, We'll head to the main common room that I was talking about. Um, so yeah, the main common room is a pretty, um, pretty well used space. It's used for all sorts of things. Um, every Wednesday night we have a formal dinner guest who will join us for our formal dinner um, where we all dress up. We have cocktails beforehand um, in the courtyard and we have sort of nibblies and and food before we go in to have a nice main um, dinner, uh, which is normally a, a two or three course meal. Um, and yeah, we go from there into um, this room where we will sort of rearrange all the furniture so that we're all facing the um, special guest who's normally some kind of industry leader. So it could be someone like a politician, a business owner, um, someone high up in the corporate world, a musician, an academic. Um, so yeah, we're pretty lucky that the um, college allows us to interact with that kind of person and network every single week with a new sort of guest who always gives us a really unique um, sort of insight into their pro professional experience and, um, and journey, so. Yeah, and I see you've also noticed the uh, trophy cabinet, and we're very proud of uh, currently being tied with New College, who's next door, um, for having the highest streak consecutive of consecutive sports shields. So that's eight, um, eight in a row since last year. This year with COVID, um, the sports shield was unfortunately not awarded, but if we win it next year, we will break the record with nine consecutive sports shields. Um, there's also a lot of individual trophies for um, players who, who perform well during the season in any specific sport or even supporter trophies um, and dedic most dedicated sportsman trophies which are more sort of broad and not necessarily geared to a specific sport. Yeah, so every week the um, sports directors will award a um, Willy Wong which is an award to the, uh, to the what would you say, the, the best sportsman of the week yeah, essentially. Sportsman of the week award, yeah. Um, and it, yeah, it normally goes to someone who's sort of shown um, outstanding effort in uh, a particular sport that week and most weeks we've got all sorts of sports going on um, with you know basketball, netball, soccer sort of being the big ones, rugby too, yeah, so frisbee. Yeah, so sports would be uh, rugby, uh, basketball, soccer, those would be the main ones and there's usually about two sports a week on average I reckon um, and it's always a great great time. Um, college really just bounce together and um, it's probably where the most college memories come from, for me at least. 
Yeah. Like being a sports director. Yeah, definitely. All right, so we'll just walk through the main common room now to um, to go into the main uh, dining room. Very sophisticated game of chess going on there. And then a much more sophisticated game of Connect Four over there. <laughs> Should we show them the late dining room? Yeah, we'll start with the late dining room um, and the courtyard. So, yeah, I think we're still waiting for you to come through. Sorry, here. we're going a bit too quickly for you. <laughs> so this is the courtyard, and I'm, as I'm sure you can feel, there's a great breeze coming through here today. Um, beautiful trees. It's a uh, just summer right now, so we've got a bit of rain coming in later today, probably. Yeah, so normally when it's not raining, um, lots of guys will spend time out here. Um, there's, there's always seating as well, so it's a great opportunity just to chill out and uh, take a break, I guess. So, yeah, yeah at, the, at the heart of college is the, uh, the courtyard. The courtyard, that's yeah. true. Yeah. So this is the late dining room, which is where we come when we, uh, when we might have, you know, a morning tea or something, or, um, you know, where we uh, give sort of residents who weren't able to make it to particular meals the opportunity to um, receive those meals in here. So we have a main common room, which we'll, or main dining room, which we'll go to next. And um, that's a place where all the meals are done at a particular time every day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner um, are all provided. And if you can't make it to dinner um, you'll, or, or breakfast, you'll have uh, those meals left for you in this room where you can heat them up um, and they're just left in the fridges and uh, yeah you just order them beforehand and sort of yeah I guess there's not much yeah. more to it. Pretty pretty easy system you just message your tutor and yeah. sorts them out for you. Looks like they got a bunch of nibblies for us today too so I might have, yeah. a, might have a bit of a cookie. Don't do that. MDR. So this is the main dining room. This is where you have all your meals, hopefully if you don't miss them at least. That's right. uh, we've got a bit of Christmas decorations in here today again. We have a microwave, um, some toasters and a coffee machine. Um, make for a great breakfast experience, in my experience. <laughs> Yeah, so we'll just run you through the sort of process. We come in here, we walk this way, we line up, um, we grab a tray and some cutlery from here. Um, so this little alcove is where all the food is. Tray, cutlery, walk through here, grab a plate, grab some food, hot meals every day, come through, fruit, all sorts of sauces and things normally. And then the cold bars where you'll have um, uh, salads and also desserts and things too. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the main dining room experience. Yeah. We I guess have a, we have a gong over there. That's true. Maybe we can end this video with someone hitting the gong. What do you mean video? This is a tour, mate. Oh, tour. Sorry. <laughs> um, so yeah, basically that's the Ryan experience. Yeah. Anything else to add? Well, just when you go into the MDR, just remember to grab your do grab your tray because you feel quite silly if you don't. <laughs> and with that. Uh, Thanks for uh, listening to us and I hope you see you at Ray next year.